Post-disaster nuclear safety efforts continue in Japan. Starting Thursday, June 16th, a three-day search was launched for the more than 7,700 people still officially missing nearly 100 days after the March 11 disaster. Meanwhile, Japan's government has made it easier for people to declare missing loved ones legally deceased. Even over three months after the initial quake and tsunami, Japan continues to be rattled by aftershocks. The 5.9 magnitude tumbler striking near the east coast of Honshu on Saturday, centered 97 kilometers northeast of the badly affected Iwaki and Fukushima prefecture. At the meeting of the government's coordinating committee for earthquake prediction on Monday, June 13th, Tohoku University researchers had suggested the use of GPS data for faster calculation of earthquake magnitudes and resulting tsunamis, enabling much quicker response. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government also plans to revise a map showing areas susceptible to soil liquefaction in the event of a powerful quake. Liquefaction on March 11th had resulted in serious damage to buildings and infrastructure along Tokyo Bay. The new projection map is scheduled to be made public by spring 2013. Meanwhile, the struggle to bring the disaster hit Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control continues. A 160-page report by the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, being presented Monday at a nuclear safety meeting in Vienna, Austria, states that while the Fukushima plant engineers were to be commended for their handling of the disaster, Japanese officials did not implement a sufficient defense system to guard against tsunamis and earthquakes. The report recommends comprehensive changes to better address potential future calamities. Meanwhile, a survey reported on Sunday by the Tokyo Shimbun newspaper revealed that 82% of Japanese, or 4 out of 5 people, want to see nuclear energy phased out. Just five hours after the Friday launch of an operation to clean 100,000 tons of accumulated radioactive wastewater for reuse and continuing to cool reactors, the procedure had to be halted as radiation levels in the collecting device rose much faster than expected. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, say it may take days before the system can be restarted and the entire operation may need to be reconsidered. Although TEPCO officials stated that this latest problem would not delay the scheduled January 2012 date for completely shutting down the plant, a more immediate concern is that the continued accumulation of highly radioactive water could result in ocean overflow within one week, with potential international effects. Amid the ongoing nuclear crisis, more hotspots registering high concentrations of radiation are being discovered beyond the 20-kilometer exclusion zone around the nuclear facility. As a result, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano announced on Thursday that the government plans to ask expectant mothers and children to evacuate from these areas. The French government is meanwhile calling for the European Union to add products from the Shizuoka Prefecture in central Japan to the list of items requiring examination. After tea leaves imported from the region into France were found to contain over twice the amount of radioactive cesium than the European Union limit. We are thankful, Japanese and international officials and personnel, for your efforts to resolve the radiation crisis. Our prayers for the Earth's protection from such dangers through humanity's more eco-conscious efforts.